Hello everybody, it's Kali PvP bring another Battleborn video. This time we're gonna do a guide for Orendi. The reason I wanna do Orendi first, because I think Orendi is one of the best classes to play, especially for people that are starting out with Battleborn that may not have the complete grasp of it. I think it's really a good noob friendly character. And you can kind of see that here with its easy ranking given. So let's briefly look over Orendi's skills. Uh, her passive is Gnosis, which is essentially casting this skill, reduce the cooldown of that skill right here. And uh, her main weapon is Chaos Bolt, which is she shoots purple bolts from her ants. And her alt weapon, or alt attack rather, is she shoots all four of them at the same time. Her two skills that you want to kind of look out for is uh, Nullify, which is by default she jumps backwards dealing damage in the initial point that she was at. And then her second skill is Shadow Pillar where she lays down this AoE in the ground and after one and a half seconds it crashes down dealing tremendous amount of damage. And then finally her ultimate is probably one of my favorite ultimates in game. It's she, it takes about, uh, let's say, one and a half second to a second to prime and afterwards she shoots this gate like thing this circle from her point to uh, a decent distance and anybody caught in that gets hit for 500 damage so now let's look at her helix which is kind of the mo most important part of a build uh, the first one you can do firewalk with me or burned and busted I personally do not like burned and busted because one, it's you know your shadow pillar reveals all cloaked enemies. There's only very few enemies that can cloak, and you really gotta time this perfectly to reveal the enemy. I personally would much rather prefer uh, firewalk with me, which is nullify. Uh, it leaves behind a trail that does 40 damage over five seconds, and that thing actually scales up as well as you level. For the second one, uh, you have Dismissed or I Hate Your Pretty Eyes. Uh, Dismissed, this one's actually a little little up in the air. I don't really like the push effect. I'd much rather go for the blind that you get from I Hate Your Pretty Eyes. Largely because when I use it, I use it to get away uh, from melee characters, especially like a character like Wrath who's up in your face. Uh, so I use that to get away from those type of characters and that blind comes in really handy. For the third one, uh, you have Let's Bounce and oh that reminds me, um, I really don't like Let's Bounce. What Let's Bounce does is adds a propulsion effect to the direction you're traveling and the other one is activating Nullify um, gets your shields back up. So the reason I don't like let's bounce is because if I want to go forward I'll just turn around use the skill and you know quote unquote go forward whereas oh that reminds me this gives you a nice little defensive boost and largely if I'm using nullify I'm in a sticky situation so I want my shields to come up the next one for number four is encore or preamble of pain um, I again I want to pick preamble of pain because shadow pillar it it's a really easy skill to dodge. So being able to do damage, 180 damage over one and a half seconds uh, before the main damage comes in, it's really, really useful. Whereas Encore, you know, even if you want to put down two of them, nothing's really stopping your opponents from just kind of dodging both of them at the same time. Number five, for, for level five, this one you're going to get uh, Procrastination or Pragnostic combo. Wow, I can't really spell that. Uh, increases Gnosis cooldown effect by four seconds or activating Shadow Pillar. I go with this particular one, the Carnage route, uh, largely because you are, it's kind of a, a limbo flip flop. So you, uh, you use Nullify to reduce, reduce the cooldown of Shadow Pillar, and then you use Shadow Pillar to reduce the cooldown of Nullify. In addition to that, since we don't pick Encore, we actually get a little bit. Uh, you're not getting any negative consequences. In this one, Encore really doesn't affect it, but luckily we're not picking Encore from that. Level 6, Nihilism or Shadow Fury? I go with Shadow Fury because Shadow Pillar does a ton of damage. So getting that 15% boost uh, on Shadow Pillar is really, really good. Whereas Nullify, it's too little damage to really matter for that 15 seconds, or 15% rather. 
Uh, level 7, Force of Will, or Essence Staff? Um, we go with Force of Will, largely because uh, Lifesteal is it's good, but you're not going to really be casting it too much. And majority of the time, you're going to have a healer on your team anyway. So go for that higher damage, because that's what Orendi is, a damage dealer. Uh, and then level 8, you have Rapid Deterioration or I Hate Your Pretty Shields. Uh, this one's kind of tough. Um, you know, sh the Shield Penetration is good, but me personally would like the Nullified Cooldown Reduction so that I proc my Gnosis, which in turn helps me proc Shadow Pillar. So for that particular reason, for number 8, I'm going to have to go with Rapid Deterioration. For number nine, level nine, uh, still hitting your shields or Shadowfire Storm. So what Shadowfire Storm does is decreases Shadow Pillar's cooldown by 20%, or uh, still hitting your shield, the portion of damage dealt by Shadow Pillar uh, by 60%. Uh, again, I'm gonna go with the cooldown reduction so that I can cast skills much, much faster. And then finally, we have Thought Rejection and Reign of Chaos. Enemies hit by a Paradigm Shift push back. Um, and activating par Paradigm Shift instantly resets the cooldown of Shadow Pillar. Uh, I, th I feel like this is kind of a given. Uh, gonna go with the Reign of Chaos for resetting the cooldown of Shadow Pillar. So it's really good where my essentially my setup for this particular matchup is um, cast Shadow Pillar, get that, or Shadow Fire rather. Get that damage or half the damage if you know if they dodge out of it, and then proc up Reign of Chaos, uh, which is my paradigm shift, and which essentially you know I can time it where I lay down Shadow Fire, lay down uh, paradigm shift, hit them with paradigm shift, and then immediately lay down another Shadow Fire right where they are for a near guaranteed kill. Now let's talk gear. Gear for Orendi really depends on how you want to build your character. But there's certain certain gear that you want to kind of stay away from. I would stay away from obviously anything that's recoil and reload. Uh, largely because you really don't need it. Uh, there's no reload for Orendi. Um, I would, my personal favorite is to go for a skill damage and uh, attack power. Or attack damage rather. Uh, that increases my essentially my damage output my third one is attack speed for the time being um, only because I just unlocked my third one um, my, and I usually use this particular build for much of my um, attack uh, heroes so I would personally substitute this uh, attack speed out for maybe a shield uh, recharge so I can stay in the fight a little bit longer or a buildable one for incursion and the meltdown maps where I'm building a lot of turrets. So overall, I mean, the two you kind of want to really focus on is skill damage as well as attack damage. So that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our video for Orendi, um, the guide. So if you guys liked it, please do like and subscribe. If you think I missed something, please let me know in the comment section. And until next time, I'll be popping out some other Battleborn games until Overwatch comes out. And when Overwatch comes out, I'll be putting out Overwatch videos as well.